guys what is up welcome back to PMB car reviews I'm Parker and today we have another very special review for you guys but first shout out to our sponsors Garage Mino and Strata app we'd like to give a huge shout out to them as they make all of this possible so let's hop right into it so today we have a 2018 Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 extended cab so here we have the infamous ZR2 Colorado the off-road champion the beast that it is so this comes with the Rancho shocks, of course, and if any of you have seen the other videos of them going up like the giant inclines and the with the locking diffs and all that, that is some of the coolest things ever, and no other mid-sized truck out there can do it. And if I sound a little enthusiastic, that's because, you know, I'm a first-gen Colorado owner, so holds a special place in my heart here. All right, so the first thing we want to talk about here on the front is the illuminated bow tie. Now, this is a really cool feature that is very well seen at night, and we got the we had that on in the cinematic pictures so you will get to see a little bit of that and then these automatic HID lights here and the really cool orange lights that will pop up these are, those would be your parking lights that would stay on and those are really cool of course and this grill is a very very unique shape here with the ZR2 badge and black inserts and then of course we have this really 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 cool design of the skid plate underneath the ZR2 as it is advertised as a very extreme off-road vehicle which is really really cool and then when the wheels are straight which we can show in a little bit as well you actually get full view of the wheels so you can rock climb without destroying the front bump or anything like that so it is very useful very practical and it looks hella cool and then of course the hood looks very aggressive you have this nice hood bulge and if you have the Duramax option, which unfortunately we do not, but we will try to get one of those. They have one coming. We will try to get that for you guys. But it would have the Duramax badge right here. So very aggressive hood. Looks amazing in the inside. And it's, it's a beast. So down here with these super aggressive wheels, we have 265, 65 R17s. And these are alloy with a kind of bronze around the edges with the ZR2 badge. And these are wrapped in the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax. Now this is a super aggressive tire. Of course, like I said, it's an extreme off-road vehicle and it needs them. And it gives it that nice aggressive look to really tie it all together. So on the side, one key feature you will see is this solid steel bar they have going across. And that is for the fact that when you're off-roading, you don't want to bottom out on a rock and it destroy your body panels or anything like that. So. GM really thought of everything when they were designing this vehicle. It is made for the purest fun off-road, and that's exactly what it delivers. And then as you will notice, we have these very wide and aggressive fenders, which give it a nice stance, super, super aggressive. And then we can come to the side here with, of course, the ZR2 badge, which looks really good. That would be in place of a Z71 badge or anything like that. But of course, this is the ZR2. And then we can come down here to give you a nice little look at the Multimatic shocks that are on here. And these are the Position Sensing Spool Valve Dampening Shocks. Now these are straight from Chevrolet Performance. They are the highest grade of shock you can possibly get on these. Only the best for this Colorado ZR2. We have the tailgate here with the black bow tie wrapped in the chrome, as well as your chrome Colorado V6 badge. Now this matches all well together bumper looks great everything just really ties in together and so we can let this tailgate down real quick to show you another key feature that the ZR2 has so it has the assisted lift gate as well as the spray and bed liner from the factory with your ZR2 logo right there at the top 
Now this is extremely practical for your use if you want to just take this off the lot and start loading in the back of it. Very practical truck, you can take it out and use it from day one. All right, then we can take a look under the hood of the Colorado ZR2. Now here we have the 3.6 liter V6, direct fuel injection, variable, variable valve timing. Now this is a nice motor, very fuel efficient for the uses of the Colorado. Also has a little bit of power with it. So this has 308 horsepower with 275 foot-pounds of torque and has a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds. Like I said, this is a brute of a truck. All right, so now we can take a look at the interior of the ZR2. Now this is the extended cab version, so we will show you guys the little area it has back here. Now this is a little comfortable seat back here that you can <laughs> don't even listen, lie to him like listen, that don't watch this don't even lie this. Oh, this, look at this there's nothing there <laughs> comfortable huh <laughs> nice and comfy oh. hey this is, this is a great a comfort right here. all right let's close you in All right guys, so first things first, we have this leather wrapped steering wheel with the design insert here on the center. And of course we have voice activation navigation as well as Bluetooth calls. And then we have the cruise control here on the left and the navigation for the middle screen here on the right. So we have our speed, our fuel economy, your trips, your fuel, the instant fuel economy and oil life, as well as your tire pressure, oil pressure, transmission fluid, and your off-road screen. All right, and here we, of course, we have the off-road page, which is really useful here for your ZR2. Now, this is gonna monitor if you are any sort of in a different directional degree. So if you are leaning forward or behind on a hill, you know, climbing a hill, going down a hill, or if you are rock climbing, if you are going to side to side at a certain angle, it'll tell you if that's unsafe or anything like that, which you can totally disregard if you choose, you know. I mean flip the truck it's on your own cost <laughs> it'll help you I mean can't prevent you though but that's all right so then of course this comes standard in the two-wheel drive and you can lock both differentials with these two buttons down here so that comes in a lot of handy when you need it that allows you to lock both differentials to have complete four-wheel drive control you will not spin you will not slip it will not break loose at all it is very very useful then we have the Chevrolet MyLink up here with full navigation with Wi-Fi 4G LTE. And then in the top left hand corner you have your degree Fahrenheit of course over there. Which is a nice cool evening here for once. Not blaring heat. So then of course we have your time over there in the right hand corner. So then you have your radio controls, media, your tone settings, and your home. So then you have audio phone, projection, navigation settings, weather, texting, OnStar, your cameras, traffic, and shop. Now the camera is really, really useful, of course, when you need it. So this is gonna show your basic backing up and all that. And then this is for your trailer hitches. That line will perfectly show you how to back up a trailer so you don't have to get out every 10 seconds and make sure you're not gonna hit it or back over it or you know do anything like that. It's just really, really helpful in the long run. So then of course you have some traffic alerts as well, which is really, really useful if you're driving highway miles or constructions ahead or you know, some delay of any sort. So very, very useful there. All right, so then of course we have our air conditioning controls down here and this actually has automatic climate control with the ZR2, which is really, really awesome. So then down here you have your trash control button as well as your locking diffs, like I mentioned before. This is for your trailer brakes. If you are hauling a trailer or anything like that, you can put it in tow mode there, as well as some hill descent control there. So then we have two-way heated seats. You can choose to either have only your back or your back and your ass. So then if we have our gear selector down here, which is very, very comfortable, nice feel to it. And we have park, reverse, neutral, drive, and low. And then down here we have a little charge pad for those Android device users. And then we have a little middle console area. With a, a little. <laughs> with a huge opening as well as a USB port. So very practical truck as well as your extended cab. So you have even more room back there as well as a few more cup holders for good measure. Now, you may notice these seats are very performance-like in the ZR2. You have your embroidered ZR2 up top. Now, you may also notice these are very 5th gen Camaro-like, and we also notice that as well. But hey, they're still very nice seats. It and might as well say ZL1. It's okay, but it's, it's a really nice addition to the Colorado. Well, guys, 
Hope you guys liked the interior and the overall review of, of the Colorado ZR2 four-wheel drive extended cab. We want to give a huge shout out to all of you guys. You know, it wouldn't be possible without you guys, and we thoroughly enjoy that. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you guys later. We also want to give a huge shout out to James Cooler Chevrolet for letting us use this Colorado.